What's the crack, lads? We are back with a Monday preview. What's coming Monday? What cards are coming? Well, we kind of know because I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a breakdown as to what is coming so you guys can decide whether or not it's going to be worth spinning this week or not. I mean, I'm kind of a little bit torn. Let me know in the comments below. So we know from this graphic for the season update that we are going to be getting a new eFootball point shot player added on the 12th of February. That's going to tie in with the big time Inter Milan pack that you see here. And you know the three players will have a look at them in a second. Now on the databases here, we're using eFootball DB. You can see the selection of Inter Milan players is, is dated on the 12th of February, as you see there. And these are the players that you see in front of you. So I'm not going to get too excited about these lads. Honestly, with my main squad, these players aren't even going to, you know, they're not even going to scratch the subs bench. Honestly, they're not really. There's going to be no one in here that's going to be miles apart from their GP variant. These are just kind of a selection to throw them in with the actual big time cards. But we also have a second selection which is going to be the Spanish League selection with new legends. We'll get to that. But first, all eyes will probably be on the three big time cards here. So we did have Rafael Leao last week with AC Milan. We previously had Araujo with the Barcelona pack. We've had a couple of different varieties of players, such as Davies with the Bayern Munich pack as well. I do like the three of these cards. I think Martinez has definitely got some potential. This is kind of a rough look at his stats. So his player level is not finalized yet. And his booster is not finalized yet. So it is going to be an interesting card. I think if you can get his acceleration, balance and shooting up to around the 90 mark with the booster, that might free up a little bit of uh, stats as well. You have Schlangelu is here as well as an AMF slash CMF. Going to be just a pure passer orchestrator. And then, of course, you do have your center back, the Frige as well, who's down as a CB that is going to be a bit of a kind of like an aggressive type CB with good pace, good defense. And also this is without his booster, so he'd probably get a boost on that as well. Uh, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these. I... <sighs> Martinez is going to be an interesting one. He is going to be an interesting one, I think. But let's see what level he has. Now, we also have the Spanish League selection attackers that are going to be coming on the 12th of February as well. And we're going to take a look at what cards could be coming to this. And we'll get a, a little graphic up here as well in a second. Because you'll see that I do think that um, with these cards, again, as I've already said, these are just kind of like the GP variants. But we do know that we are going to be probably getting... I would say Zamorano um, and Van Nistelrooy are probably going to come, but I also think that we could get Luis Garcia. So we're going to take a look at their cards here and go through their cards. Again, there's no real point in like kind of like making bills for these based on the fact that we haven't even seen their finalized form uh, or their finalized booster or anything like that. But I do think that Van Nistelrooy, Zamorano, and whoever comes, I think Van Nistelrooy will definitely come. I think he's a cert. Um, he's been in the database for a long time. I would also say that Luis Garcia could come as well because he's a Barcelona type player um, or a Barcelona type player because he's a winger, he's a wide type player and he's a Barcelona player and they like to kind of mix the clubs. So we might get two uh, of Zamorano and Raul and then I definitely think we'll get Garcia and Van Nistelrooy. So it'll be a switch up between Zamorano or Raul or else it might be a trio of Real Madrid packs, which they haven't done in a long time. Or it could be somebody else that I've kind of like glossed over. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. They're the cards just to go through them. I will be back on Monday streaming and reviewing, and I'll see you then.